checking one two looks like we got recording we got boys we got it all i feel special okay <laughs> i got this start over Hey everyone, now I'm back again with another episode. Uh, somebody wanted me to make something for them, so I went out and got the lumber for it. So, what can you do with that amount of lumber? Actually, it's a bunch of pallet wood. I uh, picked up and I'm going to be making into something and I'm going to let you know what it is when it's done because you know sometimes going going down the road you may change directions and that may happen I got two projects coming out of all this and they're for two separate people and we're gonna see what all becomes of this so you're looking at here all that and when I get done taking it all down and breaking it down, which is what I'm going to start doing now, you will start to see how much wood actually is in, is in this. So, uh, I'll be back. Well, hey again. Just want to see, show you where I've, where I've gotten so far. And I've got part of the trailer emptied off as you can see and uh, with that I've got I can get a view here you can see right there is a pile of wood two by fours and a whole pile of oh boy oh boy oh boy yeah, there we go see that there and it is taking me a few hours a lot of nails that's where I'm they're all nails in that bucket right there but it's where I am I'll keep you up to date my wife and I have a friend that uh, came to me in church the other day and wanted to know if I could build something for her and I said yeah I think I can what is it and she showed me this picture and I said, okay, I think I can build that. I said, but I'm not going to build the insert. And she goes, oh, I already have the insert. And I said, well, um, that, that'll that work then. I think we can do that. Uh, what I want to do then is let me draw it up. And I drew it up in SketchUp. And let me tell you what, if you don't know SketchUp, go out and try it. And I said, well, I sure can. She said, can you do it on a pallet wood? I said, well... I can try. So what I've figured out that I need to do is I need to first make a frame to put this on, then put a piece of like glue on or something like that over it, just to kind of give it a little bit of rigidity, and then attach all my boards, um, my boards that I pulled apart on those pallets that you've seen before. And I'll have a snapshot of that right here. there I have a snapshot there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by using a bunch of that pallet wood that I got and I pulled apart it took me a while to do um, but I'm going to cut it up and you will see that I'm going to start making this I'm going to make it a frame I got an email or text uh, yesterday and I've got to make it a little wider to cover her TV to stand on the top of this so we'll uh, we'll show you what I'm doing I'll cut the boards up and then set it over here on my work surface and I'll show you exactly how I think I'm going to be able to do this so here we go the board stock that I'm going to use 
It was a pallet, believe it or not. There was a bunch of pallets that were just uh, one by ones, all cut up uh, in different lengths and stuff. And believe it or not, no nails. Not even holes. What do you think about that? Go find that in your basic pallet wood junk pile. But, alright, I'm going to start cutting this up. Okay, what I've done is I've removed all those boards off of here and just to give you a good idea on how this actually looks. This is gonna be the back wall of the fireplace. This opening here is gonna be the distance that I need for the hearth, I mean for the insert fireplace that she's got. So <clears throat> that, is, that is what this, these boards are here for and that's going to be um, to support the middle and then of course I'll be making another one just like this exactly like this on top of this that'll be in front of this one um, for about 14 inches apart so that's the top this is the bottom and of course those are the sides so I am going to start building this and the reason I've come all the way down you see all the way down at the bottom here is because I want to make sure that it's supported all the way up. I mean, I could do it on the inside, it worked just the same, um, but I need, I want to make sure I've got solid boards all the way to the end because those boards are what's going to be holding the uh, plywood, I mean, the, the pallet wood that'll be lined up. And let, let me get a piece of pallet wood and I'll show you. This will be stacked like this, and I want to make sure that I've got solid connections all the way across. And this will go all the way to the top. Um, and then, of course, it'll be level here with the hearth. This will be the hearth. So it'll be a, another floor here, then a hearth, and another build up here. All right. That's one. I've got to make two of those. That's two walls. That'll be the front and the back. And then out from that will be the platform or the mantle or whatever you want to call it. So I'll get to working on that now. Okay, and here we have it, the frames that are all built. This is for the front, it's for the mantle. I mean, not the mantle. 
uh, 14 inches from front to back. Um, and this I think is going to be 10 inches from front to back. So we'll, uh, we'll move from there. Okay, this is the uh, hearth on the bookshelf fireplace. So what I'm gonna do here is she showed me, which I had um, the lady that wants this come over and talk to me exactly how she wanted this and I'm glad I did because <clears throat> my dimensions here were off. Um, and it's always good when you're talking to people you're making something for, especially if they know about it, um, get their idea for sure on how they want to do it. My idea and her idea were totally different, which is fine. I'd rather figure that out now than have to figure it out later. So anyway, this is what I thought it was going to be, big enough like this. But what we're going to use, actually, I'm going to just set this up here so you can see it. This will be kind of like that. They're going to use these pieces of slate. Really nice. It came off of a roof. And I'm going to, see I actually have this too wide. So I'm going to bring this in. And what's actually going to happen is there'll be a piece of um, board on the side like here. Which is, this is all made it out of uh, reclaimed wood. Every bit of this is out of reclaimed wood. So I'll put a board here. Then a board here. Another piece of slate board slate board and basically be doing the same thing dimensionally this way except this way <clears throat> um, I don't know I may make this a little easier narrow to run across the back and across the front just to kind of separate everything out so this will basically be a standalone piece if you, if you really wanted to but uh, as of right now it's way too big so I am going to trim down my um, pallet wood that I've got stacked out here to make it look right, the dimensionally right. And uh, I'll be doing that on the saw and then coming back and laying out these pieces like this just to give me an idea how, how exactly to go with this, what it will look the best. So that's where I'm going, and I guess I'll take you along for the ride. Well, well, this is the beginning of the hearth. I put a piece of slate and it actually came off of an old roof. Um, and this is pallet wood that I've planed and flattened out. And I've got this glued together right here and all we got to do now is just let it sit and dry and then I'll start gluing them the other side and we'll go from there but I just want to give you an update and show you what I've done okay as you can see I've got this pretty much set I've got the slate which is very fragile already glued in down here and then boards all the way around now what I need are going to be boards that are going to go up and down here up and down here because there will be a shelf and a shelf over here and uh, 
and then this covered and then wood to go around the edges and across the front here and the sides and stuff so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get started cutting them and I'll show you what I'm going to need I am going to need I think it's uh, 20, 34 of these that's what I think I've calculated it'll be going across like this all the way down on both sides here and there and then there'll be uprights that'll come from here up and down that'll be going like this and then I'll be coming back with a trim board that goes around here so I'm gonna go get uh, go cut 24 of these uh, 34 of these and we'll see how it works You can see all the lumber I've cut. I've cut these for the sides of the bookshelf. Um, I've cut these two are going to be the bottom front right above the hearth and then I've got um, these three are going to be for the front of the hearth. This one is going to be up here and I've got three that I cut for each side you know these three here and then three on the other side and uh, that pretty much goes into detail how this is going to go what I'm going to need for this. Okay I wanted to show you that it's best to get yourself organized or you'll end up using one piece for another place. Alright I wanted to show you um, I made this board right here let's get it more under the light where you can see it. I put pegs in. You'll see here and here. They all line up exactly the same in the way I know that is because across here I just put them on the edge. Then I drilled holes one quarter inch all the way up. And this is actually my template that I use for making all these holes for the shelving. Okay, I put this like that. And you can see those pegs line up against, hit against the outside edge. And the reason I got it all the way through is because then you would take this and move it directly across. And then each one of these are lined up with the ones on that. I put this board, you can see right here, where it's standing off just a, just a little from there. And this whole thing here is actually flips over and hangs out about that far. That distance right there is how far this hangs out up here. This should be getting close to dry. And you can see you can never, never have enough clamps. Okay, here it is. You can see the for that light, I don't know why that light's kind of blinding me now. Maybe this will help a little. This is all made out of, <clears throat> this is slate. So as you can still see the, the holes that they put in it to put it on the roof. So there's that, and then there's that. And that is completed. And each one of these shelves, each one of these shelves can be moved up and down, depending on how you want to do it. But that's that's it. And there it is finished, guys. You'll see that uh, backing is on, it's completed, ready to go up the door. You can see on the sides.
but that project is finished. This has got a like a two and a half inch lip overlap here between the front and the back. And there we go. Project is finished. Went from a pile of pallet wood. That pallet wood planed down. See so it came out really nice. Made into lumber that I could use. And there's the finished product. Hope you enjoyed the project.